Hey guys, Al Spence here for Gulf Coast Custom Models. Got the socks and Martin some paint on. I wanted to just do a quick video. Um, again, I use that pinstriping tape that you can get at Advanced Auto or somewhere. You notice it uh, cuts down on the bleeding down here and the door jams and stuff really <laughs> about as best as anything I ever seen. You just take a little back side of your knife and tuck it in the grooves real good before you do it you got the roof painted off on the top a little bit of trim to do see yeah, nothing's perfect it's hard to get but that's all i got right there i can fix that and uh i got the uh panel painted was all that is but you can see it's not bad looking pretty good lines uh believe me i've had them come out a lot worse <laughs> so uh, want to run that by you. I'll be getting some decals on it now uh, Pretty basic guys nothing big on that just decal it, you know If you don't know decals or any tips on that just ask me let me know um, Been really busy here lately. Hey, uh The reason the socks is going kind of slow. I've got three commission builds uh, One of them just showed up. I'm gonna do a review on that kit um, Melrose missile by Mobilis so, pretty neat kit. This is a Nova. This is a 70 Nova I'm doing for a guy, like a street outlaw type build. I got the tub done. I had to I cut the, well, let me pull it out of here. I'll show you. There's the big 427. Working on that. Weathering the carbs and stuff. I haven't even drilled the holes yet for the plugs. But I'll, I'm thinking about going with a trigger distributor on that, so... Let me pop this body off. It's kind of a tight fit. I got to do a little trimming. I got to lower my roll cage. No biggie. But I knew that was coming. As you can see, I got my NOS bottle in. Batteries cabled in and wired in the back there. Uh, I made my gear shift out of stick pins. Them are just stick pins. Cut down. It looks like the pole shifters. First, second, high, and then reverse. Seat belts have got my uh, belts in. What I did here, it might be hard to tell, but maybe not. See up here? You kind of see the putty still, but I cut the front clip off the frame of the Nova kit. This is off the 66 Nova, the tubbed out deal. And then I uh, married the front clip onto the Nova's chassis here. So the front end of tires and everything will line up right. So all I have to do is adjust the height. But uh, it's coming along now. I think I'm over the hard spot. But body, he wants it pure orange. No white stripes, no vinyl top, just straight orange. So that's what he'll get. But uh, I got a guy who wants, wants the socks and Martin done. Um... He got that 65 Mobis kit, whatever, and he wants Socks and Martin's 65 car done. The Gate City, I think. But I gotta look at the decal layout and uh, see. That's a nice kit, that Mobis. I'll do a review on that kit. So watch for that here. I'll try to get that out uh, one day this week for sure. But again, sorry it took me a little while to get back to the Socks car, but been kind of busy here, and my mom and the daughter and everything, and a little bit crazy, but it's cold out today, and I can't do much. My I get my joints get hurting and stuff in this cold weather, so I kind of kind of stay indoors. <laughs> Anyways, hey, look, you guys, you guys have a go and take care of each other. Any questions? Need a tip, trick, a little help? Give me a holler. I definitely, you guys, most of you know, I get back to you. It might take me a little while, but when I see it come in, I'll I'll comment on you or I'll contact you. So. Anyways, you guys have a good day. Talk to you later. Be safe. Have a great time and keep on building, guys. Alan Spence here for Gulf Coast Custom Models. Have a super day. Bye-bye.